This is Shadow Z here today with Sarah Ann Williams. How are you doing here at Anime Self 1 Very good. Just finished up our panel and the signing. So, yeah, it's been a really nice day. Being a voice actor, uh, do you go for any audition that, that is open? Uh, generally, they're sent to me. So, I mean, if they're sent to me, they're open. So, um, even then, I also... I pretty much try to do whatever I feel is uh, in my wheelhouse. I have had occasions where I'm sort of like, I don't think this will fit me, or I can't quite pull that accent off or whatever. Um, I mean, occasionally I've seen open opportunities, and I'm like, oh, that looks interesting. Maybe I'll look at that. But yeah. Has there ever been a moment that a character was given to you and no audition was needed? Oh, yeah, that's... Um, I've been cast with, uh, without auditions several times. Uh, Uni and Neptunia I didn't audition for. I just was immediately cast. Um, I'm trying to think here. Uh, I think my character... I auditioned for Your Lie in April, but the character I got was not the one I auditioned for. Um, so it does happen every so often. As a voice actor, can you tell us the troubles and challenges of being a voice actor? Um... Mostly just uh, patience because sometimes things slow down and also keeping yourself competitive because you can't really rest on your laurels. Like, I still take classes. I still do training. I don't think that's ever going to stop. And uh, definitely keeping your voice in shape. I, I, I have a deathly fear of colds and stuff now because that could really be like two weeks of work that I lose if I'm not careful. When given a Japanese name or word, how good are you at saying it and pronouncing it until you say it with no problem? That actually kind of depends on what the client wants. Like, sometimes the clients don't actually want us to say it right. Not right, but sometimes they've been like, actually, say it more American. Like, I've had that happen every so often. So it's actually not really up to me in what's correct. It's kind of what the client wants. You went from fan to working within the industry. Um, as a person, uh, you are uh, if a person that you are a fan of, do you have a fandom moment? Or wait until later to have a moment, or just go? That's just another coworker. Um, generally, if it's another voice actor, then I do try to be. I keep it professional because often I've seen I've seen people that I'm like. Oh my god, it's you. But it's like, generally I've actually seen them in a work environment and I can't be going fan on them. So I, so I, I'm just sort of like, nice to meet you. Oh, or I just don't engage because, you know, they're here for work, you know, it's fine. Like I remember meeting, meeting the first Black Power Ranger and I was just like, oh my god, I grew up watching you. I mean, I did get to say to him, it's, it's just like, I watched you as I was a kid, but you know, professional. Uh, the characters that you have done in video games and anime, besides them, um, if you could go back as a fan, uh, who would be your dream character to voice or what video game, anime, or cartoon would you love being connected to or being a part of? Um, um, I'd love to do something in Sailor Moon if the opportunity arises. Um, game? I still want to do something in Silent Hill, but Silent Hill is probably not going to happen again, and it hurts. Something, I'd like to do a horror game at some point. I've done one, so I'd like to do another one. Thank you very much for being with us today, everyone. Sarah and Williams.